Hello everyone, I'm Chris John from the Blue Marble, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an HDR moon composite image that shows the illuminated side and the unilluminated side of the moon at the same time. I'm also going to have to assume that you're a beginner in Photoshop, so if I'm a little bit too slow or a little bit too fast, I apologize in advance. So let's get straight down to creating our HDR moon composite. So here we have all of our images uploaded into Adobe Lightroom as you can see here. And this star field image was captured at ISO 3200, 20mm focal length, f3.5 aperture, and 143 second shutter speed. This is a stack of 7 20 second exposures and I used Sequator to stack the images together. These two images right here were captured through my telescope using my phone mounted in an adapter. Whereas these two images, including the star field, were captured using my DSLR camera. So what we're going to have to do is to select them all, right click, choose edit in, and open as layers in Photoshop. Or you could just export the images as TIFF files or JPEG files or whatever, and then import them into Photoshop later on. So here we have all of our images uploaded into Adobe Photoshop. And if we toggle each of these off, we can see each layer by itself. So what we're going to have to do is to expand our image using the crop tool. To do that, we're going to have to hold down alt and then click and drag. We're just going to have to put the moon right at the center. Right about there. When you're done, hit enter. So the next thing we're going to have to do is to fill the background with black. To do that, we're going to have to create a new layer, drag it down to the bottom, Hit the D key to reset these colors to black and white. Hit the edit tab, click fill, and then choose OK. And with that, we have now filled our background with black. So we're just gonna drag this layer here. So what we're gonna have to do is to align these two images together. To do that, we're gonna have to reduce the opacity of the top layer. Click the Move tool, and then press Ctrl T. So what we're just doing here is aligning the two images together. And then hit Enter when you're done. So we're just going to have to put the opacity back to max and then create a layer mask and then choose the gradient tool to blend the two images together. So to blend them even more, we're going to have to reduce the brightness of the full moon. Right about there, I think. So, so what we're going to have to do is to hit Control, Shift, Alt, and E. So here we have our new layer. Then drag these guides here. Use the elliptical marquee tool to select the moon. Make sure not to go over the edges. Then 
Then create a layer mask. Turn off these layers. Then here we have our moon isolated. So what we're gonna have to do is to put this glow layer behind the moon. We're also gonna have to properly align it, and so hit Ctrl T to do that. Hit enter when you're done. So, since we managed to get some of the edges right here, we're gonna have to use the brush tool to brush them out. With black as our foreground color and white as our background color, we can brush those spots out. So I'm gonna use hardness at 72% and size at 104 pixels. Then, and then we will brush these spots out. So this is gonna take quite some time. When you're done doing that, we're gonna have to put our star layer Which is this one. Control A, select the entire canvas, and then Control C to copy it. And go back to our main tab, and then Control V to paste it. Hit Control T to resize the image. right about there and then hit enter then we're gonna change the blending mode to screen so we're gonna have to fine-tune this image by reducing the brightness to reduce the number of stars Right about there. So since there are no stars in front of the moon, which is that good of a way that it's a composite photo, we're gonna have to erase them by using a vector mask and then a brush tool. With black is the foreground color and white is the background color. Then we're just gonna have to brush these stars out. I'm just gonna have to create another curves adjustment for the star layer to reduce the number of stars. Mm -hmm. 
and then we're gonna have to brush the stars out. And voila, here's your final image. Now you're ready to save your image by going to File and then Save As. If you enjoyed this video and like tutorials like this, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button so that you won't miss any future videos. And as always, clear skies.